Everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another video on Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's a fucking throwback for me. It's been a while. My channel was built on Unity and Rogue, so this is a nice little bit of nostalgia. But we have got some information that's very interesting, and I thought was worth a video to talk about it and sort of get it out there. So there's a few Italian retailers which have started listing a HD version of Assassin's Creed Rogue for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I'll link these in the description if you want to go and check them out for yourself. It seems to be that the game will be released around April of 2018 for around 30 euros, which, I mean, isn't too bad, I would say, for a HD remake, although Rogue is only, like, 11 minutes long, so maybe don't charge that much. But for a general sort of HD remake of a game, 30 pounds or 30 euros is not a lot. I think that's about the right price for a HD version of a game. Now, at the minute, there's not too much information on this, not even a cover art. Obviously, it would be just be the same, I would assume. However, we don't have any more information other than that it has been listed on these websites. Now, Assassin's Creed Rogue, if this does release in 2018 in April, Assassin's Creed Rogue will have been out for three and a half years at that point. And a lot of people have been saying, well, this doesn't make much sense because why would they release it, you know, then? It makes more sense releasing like 2015 or 2016, I'm like, well, you know, we got the Ezio collection in 2016, it kind of does make sense to me they might do this sort of HD port of Rogue to the next-gen consoles during their break in 2018, because we likely won't get an Assassin's Creed game during 2018, and the next one will be 2019. Now, um, in terms of what this could be, I mean, I guess it would just sort of be like, you know how the, the, the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 version of Black Flag was different from the 360 and PS3 version, it'd likely just be that sort of graphical upgrade where it looks a lot nicer, uh, potentially a 4K on the Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro, maybe it'll just be 1080, maybe it'll run at 60 frames, who knows, but it'll be that sort of nice upgrade sort of thing for people that do want that, I guess. It's very strange to me because I don't really understand the market for a HD remake of Rogue, it's such an obscure game in the franchise to release. I guess it's just minimal effort on making a HD version of Rogue because they already have the PC version. All they've got to do is polish it, release it on next-gen consoles, that sort of thing. So it won't take a lot of work or money on their part, but it's a quick game they can push out to make, you know, a quick, a quick buck. So I guess that would be their motivation, although it is super random for them to just do it. So again, do take this with a grain of salt because this could be entirely false. Although every time we get a correct leak for Assassin's Creed games, it's normally Italian retailers that are retailing the games up on their website. So who knows, maybe we'll see an announcement within a few weeks time. I would say most likely during January or February. I don't think we're gonna be getting it before the end of the year. So I guess this is all we've got to go on for now. Maybe we'll find something out uh, soon. Maybe we'll get some more leaks here and there. To stay up to date on everything, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you wanna see a Rogue remake. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. When I say remake as well, I don't mean like a full-on remake, I mean just sort of like a remastering for next generation consoles. Anyways, that's it for the video. I'm going to have a video coming out soon talking about those Japan concept art things that we got, but I felt they weren't necessary to quickly get a video out, so I will get one out this week though, just talking about that, giving my thoughts sort of explaining what I think about that entire situation. But for now, if you want to know our thoughts on it, um, you know, sort of briefly, go listen to episode 61 of Kill Connor Club podcast, because we talked a lot on there about a ton of things, uh, and the timestamps are in the description of the podcast on YouTube, so you'll be able to check out uh, the specific points you want to listen to uh, easily. So thanks for joining me, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Mm, you people have suffered too long. It's time we take a stand. Cause together we're strong Defy and take my hand I'm hearing whispers on the wind Born from the shadows Origins are these the flames I see